What's up everyone? So I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about barbell cleaning. I have been horrible at maintaining this barbell, which is really foolish considering the fact that it just, it was a couple hundred bucks. I've never cleaned my barbell before. It's uh, pretty gross and I am pretty ashamed of that. So there's a lot of gunk on the barbell itself, a dead skin or could be chalk. Well, not chalk chalk but liquid chalk i'm gonna go ahead and try and clean this real quick so i do have three in one oil some brushes this particular package has a stainless steel brush brass brush and the nylon one which is the one that i'm going to use you're going to be handling oil so i am going to wear some gloves and then just a microfiber rag i'll put a link to all of these in the description below it shouldn't take too long we'll see so hopefully this ends up turning out pretty decent so <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. All right, so uh, that was a bust. <laughs> That's kind of what happens when you do things on the flies. I am going to try and do it again right now just to let you all know what happened. To be honest, I'm going to blame it on the brushes because the brushes kind of sucked. So these right here, again, I got them off Amazon. Most of the times I'll just try to find the cheapest thing I can find when it's like things like this and it had decent reviews so I just went ahead and bought it as I was using it it just kind of like all the little brushes just kind of spread out um it really didn't seem to be doing the trick it did clean a little bit off of it I will say that with that said I did also bust out the brass one thinking like oh man this is super gunked up so I need a little bit more oomph on the brush and also from what I had read brass is okay to use on hard chrome uh, because it is a softer metal so I went ahead and started using this thing but the brushes aren't that high quality. As I was using the brass brush, all the little bristles were just flying everywhere. So it was kind of just a waste. So I ended up just quitting and just actually spending a bit more money to get other nylon brushes. And so here I am now. If you're like me, you probably did a little bit of research and you saw a little bit of a mixed bag as far as like what type of brush to use, like whether a steel brush, nylon brush or brass. There are a lot of brushes out there. I figured I'd just buy a few brushes and just kind of try again. I'm gonna jump right into it. I actually haven't opened the packages, so I'm just gonna do it real quick here. So it's the Hybrid Athletic 360 brushes. I got the nylon one. I also bought the brass one. As I said, uh, I'm not sure if maybe my stuff is just too gunked up, so I just wanted to play it safe and get these at the same time. I bought them off Amazon only because I had an Amazon gift card, or else I likely would have bought them directly from the hybrid website. Both of these ran me about 68 bucks. Each of them was like 35 bucks or so, 30 bucks. But on the website, you do get both of these for about 10 bucks cheaper with their 10% discount thing that they show you as soon as you hop on there. This is it here. So the nylon bristles here, like they're really compact in comparison to the Amazon one that I have. <laughs> you see these are all over the place. And then these are pretty compact. So hopefully this one will be much, much better. It curves around the barbell. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier to clean. So yeah, so that's it for this one. The other one's similar. It's just that it's brass, just in case. The other one that's kind of making the rounds, it seems to be a fairly new product, is the one from Barbell Rescue. This thing here, cool packaging. Anyway, so this is it. Let me just take this off real quick. Let me give you a close up. So the bristles are actually in here. Pretty self-explanatory. You put this around the barbell and then you, you clean it. A lot of compact bristles as well. Hopefully this also does a really good job. Uh, we'll see though. Now I'll put a link in the description of the video for this as well as a coupon code to get 10% off. I am going to use one on each side just to see which one's easier to use, which one does a better job. We'll see. I'm just going to jump right into it and see how it goes. So <laughs> hopefully this goes better than last time. So stay tuned. So I got it done and honestly, this bar looks freaking brand new. <laughs> so it looks like a brand new barbell to me now and it is amazing. I would not be surprised if I end up hitting some PRs soon now that I have a lot more grip. <laughs> That's how gross it was. I mean, I'm sure I was having problems with my grip and I didn't even realize it. It was pretty disgusting, to be honest. Uh, just how much came off of the barbell. And actually, I'm going to show you how gross my barbell actually was before I cleaned it. Try not to judge me, okay? This is the rag now. So, yeah. 
<laughs> do not wait two years to clean your barba that's so gross the barba athletics brush held up really really well and this one here i did enjoy this brush because it kind of does hug the barbell but it could be that i have little hands <laughs> It was a little bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, it was easy to kind of use and brush up and down to the side, whatever. It still just wasn't as easy as the Barbell Rescue one. The uh, brass one ended up coming in super clutch. This one here, this definitely helped speed things up when it came to cleaning the hybrid side. This brush did take quite a beating um, and it ended up getting pretty messed up surprisingly or maybe that's just how much elbow grease i put into it now as far as the barbell rescue side that side i actually really enjoyed it was just fun it was easy to use it sped things up because of this like this actually helped the the fact that this kind of clamps down it was just easy to really put some elbow grease onto this and just really brush the ish out of the barbell it does just help keep it in place and it does help with like putting pressure on the barbell as you're scrubbing the one thing that i will note though is that if you clamp down on this way too hard and then you try to brush like you're gonna have a hard time because it's not gonna want to move once you find that sweet spot like as far as how much pressure to put on it so that it's clamped down on the barbell then it's just easy going like it's just so quick to just move it side to side or just uh, rotate it around the barbell the one thing i will also mention though is that this does not clamp around the sleeves the sleeves are just too big so if you're planning on brushing the sleeves and you're trying to use this thing uh you're only gonna get the edges for that i ended up of using the hybrid athletics one because you can make that one as narrow or as wide as you need also something to keep in mind if you have like specialty barbells these inserts do come out so i'm sure you can take them out and then use them on the sleeves accordingly i had the hybrid one so i just went ahead and used that instead the downside is this is one of the pricier alternatives i mean this thing was like 52 bucks after the 10 percent discount that's a big ouch right there i mean going from like the uh amazon brushes of like eight nine bucks to the hybrid athletic brushes of like 22 to 25 plus shipping and whatnot it's just it's a big price jump you're paying 52 bucks the first time because you're getting the enclosure the first time and then moving forward you just have to buy the inserts the inserts i think are like 24 25 bucks that's before shipping and before a discount so if i were to do this all over again and just knowing how gunked up my bar was this time around i would use a bit of three-in-one oil and actually spread it from sleeve to sleeve and really get it in the knurling and whatnot let it sit for about an hour or so and then give it a good brushing I think if i would have done that this time around i probably would not have needed to buy the brass brush just something to know that's why i love doing this off the cuff sometimes that'll bite me in the butt um, and sometimes i find myself learning on video hopefully i don't look like too big a fool to all of you out there this wasn't going to be a deep cleaning it was just going to be a cleaning of the knurling for the most part in the sleeves which i did i'll put in a little bit of three-in-one oil like two or three drops on each side give it a quick spin and then just call it a day hopefully this was helpful for some of y'all that are thinking about cleaning your barbell for the first time and hopefully you don't go through the same drama like i did thanks again for watching this is your boy alj and i'll catch you next time